Marquise, I want to ask you, you've been a part of some pretty big games in your time here, um, going back to last year. But as far as the atmosphere for tonight, just how can you describe that? I mean, it was incredible. Uh, you know, the student section did a really good job today with giving us that energy. Um, it's just a blessing to be, be able to play, you know, a college game again and alongside these guys. So it's, Ke it's Keontae's first game back. Man, I'm just proud of, of him and his growth and, you know, Coach Tang. So it was, it was really fun. And then, Keonta, that's where I was going to ask you. Um, a long road to get here, but uh, played your first official game in more than two years. How, how are you feeling right now, and, and what, what were those emotions like? Um, I'm feeling good. I mean, just thanking God every day for giving me the opportunity to get here and play again, just staying patient. And, I mean, the feeling before the game, I was a little emotional, but – I knew the game was about to go, so I had to keep keep going and just play and just let everything ride out for my team. And when you hit that first three, had a pretty big smile. Just getting that first those first points out of the way with your new team, what was what was that feeling like? Um, the smile came from the crowd. I mean, the crowd was into it. Like we was on a big run and just trying to engage with the crowd, just keep the fan base good. And I just felt it felt real good getting my shots off. Got another one for you, Keontae. Uh, during that stretch in the first half when you guys were really humming on offense, do you think that showed the potential you guys have on that side of the court? Yeah, I feel like it, um, it did. We showed what we were capable of doing. Um, I feel like we still have a lot more that we could have did, but that was just a little like glimpse, glimpse of what we could do. And just got to stay together and just keep playing together as a team. Like We had a lot of guys in double digits, and any given night, anybody can score. So that's just a thing with this team. Well, why do you think you guys are so good in transition when you get out and run? Um, we just well, it starts on defense. We uh, we pride ourselves on defense first, and then as soon as it's a live ball turnover, we just go out and run. So we feel like we practice it every day and practice. And once you keep practicing it, they get comfortable in the game. And I feel like that's where it carried over today. Marquise, I wanted to ask you. It looks uh, like you're maybe a little bit more under control when you're shooting this season. Is that uh, just the different makeup of the team, or did you put in an effort this off season to, uh, I don't know, rework your shot a little bit there, or your approach? I mean, uh, I put in a lot of work this summer. Uh, I didn't really have many days off. I was just in the gym, staying in the gym with uh, Ish. And over the summer, I just worked tires, tirelessly on my shot and you know on my playmaking and, and being under control. So yeah, I was in the gym this, this year, this summer. Just uh, what was the locker room like after the game? I think I saw pictures already. You guys kind of doused Coach Tang. I mean, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, it was very just a, uh, a lot of emotions towards Coach Tang getting his first win, um, my first game back. So it was just it was just like great feeling as together we all admired each other and it just showed how like how good of a family we are together. So. But I mean, we saw you knock down. Two jumpers as well. Is is that a kind of a regular part of your game? Oh yeah, uh, and not, not, uh, and not, so for, first of all, I want to give thanks to God uh, because I'm really happy to be here, like to be able to play with, with these guys, uh, like, like to compete with them in practice, and those are the stuff that I, I work on in summer, and. I'm, I'm just happy to be here and to play with these guys and to play for coach things. So. Keith, I was curious if you could expand a little bit and talk about just what it's like playing next to Keontae. I mean, it's great, man. Just seeing a guy just work over and over and over again to, to be in the shape that he's in right now, to be able to, you know, still have you know, his scoring ability after two years, it's just great to be alongside of him. He's so versatile and he has a high IQ in uh, uh, basketball. So it's great, man. I, I love playing with him. I love playing with all my teammates. Um, and, you know, we just got to keep building and keep getting better. Absolutely. Can't tell you how excited are you for the journey ahead? Oh, I'm really excited. I mean, just coming in, I had like a big expectation with the team. Uh, Coach Tane told me from day one he was trying to, he's not trying to rebuild. And that's what I like. And I just, on my visit, talking to Keith, we both had the same goal and 
from that day on, just I was just ready to work and just come here and be with the team and just get a lot of wins together this year. Bebe, it seemed like you started to get things really going in the second half. Was was there something changing there? Are you just starting to gain some confidence, or what changed uh, in the second half? Um, I'm just yet yet to like do everything to to win. Like whatever coach coach time with me to do, I just go out there and just go uh, to just go and execute. And I'm just ready to do everything to make us win. So, so yeah. Marquise, can you can you talk a little bit about Taiki, both that that dunk that he had in the first half, and then what what he kind of means to you guys? That was crazy. I mean, I seen it coming, but I didn't know he was he was going to do that. But he set the tone um, for that little spurt that we had because his dunk, you know, gave the crowd some energy, and then we just fed off that. Um, he had a really good game today. Uh, you know, a lot of people had really good games like Naquan. Um, Desi, Cam, so it was a lot of a lot of people who did some really good things, but you know he started he started uh, that that run that we had. So. How how fun is it when when you guys are clicking that 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 tightly on offense, especially in that that first half stretch? It's fun when you win. Anytime you you win is fun. You know, winning solves everything, mm -hmm. and I just want to be on the winning side of things this year, Absolutely. and I and I feel like we will be. Yeah, this is mostly for Marquise. You guys have struggled with turnovers. It sounds like you struggled a little bit in the uh, exhibition, obviously, last week. But you only had one today, and I think you had six or seven assists. Are you just getting a little bit more comfortable in the offense and the half court and the responsibilities that come with being the lead guard at this point? For sure. I'm getting more comfortable with my teammates. Um, I'm just being more under control and more poised. You know, Coach always talks about being simple. So I'm trying to do simple better than, you know, everybody. So. I give a lot of credit to my coaching staff and my teammates for actually making the shot. So, And then can you just kind of describe what the learning process has been like to learn an entirely new scheme? Because it's obviously a lot different than what you did a year ago as a lead guard. Uh, it's, it's, it, it, it was easy to adjust because you got guys that came from winning programs like Coach Tang and Coach Perry and Coach Malagy. So it was easy to adjust. All you have to do is really listen and uh, and embrace what they're telling you so it was, it was pretty easy like. Keonta I wanted to ask you when you guys are having that first half like you are going up and down throwing dunks down making threes uh, seems like you're just playing basketball is that kind of how you guys are going to be successful is maybe not having a bunch of tight sets but just flying around and making plays um I just feel like for us we just take uh practice shots so the, the stuff that we did today in the game is what we usually do in practice, and it just we just carried it over today, and just the fan base, the crowd, everybody got into it, and it just made us it made it more fun in practice. You know, there's nobody really in there, so we can't really celebrate how we wanted to. Mm -hmm. So today, I feel like we just engaged with the crowd, and it just helped us get momentum throughout the game. And then Marquise, I want to ask you about Desi, um, having a guy like that who can dish the ball like he can. Uh, when you're both out there, does that change your role at all? Um, I feel like playing alongside Desi gives me like more energy because he's a guard that could that could pick up full court with me. And you know, we as a team we feed off Desi's energy. You know, he's a high motor guy. He's unselfish. So when he's out there, you know, it's pretty fun to to be alongside of him. So I feel like we complement each other real well. Keontae, did you uh, pay attention to any of the national media? Before the game today, you know, welcoming you back to college basketball after two years off. Nah, they um they actually take our phone before the game. It's like yeah. probably like an hour or so. <laughs> so we can. before we warmed up, like probably sixty minutes before. I didn't have my phone, so I didn't see anything. So knowing now that you know people have have known you know the player that you were before your you know your accident, and then coming back two years later, and how does it feel to you know get the recognition? Before you know, you even step out on the court for K State in a regular season game. Oh, uh, just a blessing, really. Just thanking God like every day. Just like I said, I mean, you, without Him, I wouldn't be here. I mean, He gave me the opportunity, a second chance of life. So every day, just before the court, before I get on, just thank Him. Just keep praying for a healthy season. I mean, it means a lot for people to recognize me and just uh, just showing like the work I put in and how I've overcome over the years. But without Him, I wouldn't be here. So. 
Is there anyone from either your family or from maybe back at Florida that, you know, uh, said anything to you before the game? Oh, yeah. Nah, all my um, old Florida teammates, they all hit me. Like before before we had to come in here to warm up, I mean, all my Florida teammates hit me up, my old coaches, um, Coach White, all of them, they all text me, but I haven't seen nobody like after the game yet, so yeah. I know. Marquise, can I ask you about the behind the back assist you had there uh, in the first half? Just what what went on in that play? I don't know. I was just playing. You know, I saw the big step up. Uh, actually, I rejected the screen. I saw the big step up. So that was the only option I really had. Um, but yeah, I was just having fun out there, man. When you have when you win it, you're just having fun, and it was more of a of a reaction than anything. So. Um, you know, this year, Keith, it's uh, it's evident that you you're getting open even more. Um, how much do you think that's going to help you? You know, knock down shots at a, a high clip this season. I mean, uh, we have so many guys that are threats. You know, when it's hard, it, it's hard to prepare for a team like us because we have so many different guys on the perimeter that could score the ball. So just I'm just doing my part with facilitating, and you know, when you do good things, good things happen to you. So I'm just just playing basketball. And how impressed are you with, you know, the defense that you guys can deploy and how you guys suffocate teams? I feel like we did a really good job on the defensive end. Um, we we have, you know, how, whatever, that's what I'm trying to we, we got endless things that we could do to get better, but um, we got to continue to guard without fouling and we got to continue to keep putting pressure up on, you know, the guards. So. And last one, baby. Uh, do you pride yourself on that defensive end of the floor? Huh? You pride yourself on the defensive end of the floor? Absolutely. Yeah. And what it, what what goes into that? And what are the kinds of things that Tang talks about to make sure that you're you know that defensive anchor? Um. It, it just for me to just go then to just go be, be myself uh, to just just do anything to win. So it's like I'm, I'm here in the first place to, to win, and and I'm and and I'm just ready to do anything for my team, like defensive end, like set but all screen and roll hard. So so I think my role here is to just make sure that I do everything to make us win. So yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all. Appreciate y'all.